Lord of Chaos here, with another one. Alright guys, Lord of Chaos here, with the uh, weekly Stormshot news. Looks like we've got a mail from the guys, and this is a big update. So I'm going to run through it with you guys now. So this is going to be version 3.14, and it's going to be dropping tomorrow. Probably first thing in the morning, so um, 6 o'clock UTC. So esteemed Lord and Ladies, to improve your gaming experience, a system update has been scheduled for March 25th. During the update, your gaming experience will not be affected. Experience enhancements. So the Wharf Winehouse is finally going to get those new heroes, and it looks like they're going to be completely changing the mechanism as to how we will be able to recruit heroes in future so they are going to convert all the recruitment banners and hero badges that you currently have into some new form of currency and um, in order to do that they're going to send you a mail tomorrow letting you know how much of the new currency you're getting from the currency you currently have in recruitment bar banners and hero badges okay it's going to shorten the cooldown of the free master recruitment by half and they're taking away the 15 recruitment banners so i think that is going to work out better for us in the long term they're also going to add some previously released a tier S heroes into master recruitment. Enlisting heroes in master recruitment and standard recruitment will allow you to obtain not only hero items, but also additional resources. It's going to be interesting what resources those are. Is it just going to be some grains, some crystals, etc., etc., or is it going to be some much needed other items? We're going to have to uh, learn that all tomorrow. So I guess I'll have to make a video uh, tomorrow once I get a chance. Uh, just running over everything. And um, the thing I complained about in an earlier video on the channel, they finally got round to fixing it. So you will now be able to exchange 10 Pearl Oyster Basics for one Pearl Oyster Rare. Now this conversion rate is incorrect. It should be 5 to 1. But um, you know how Stormshot are. They're going to do things that best benefit them. And we already know from my video earlier on this week. <laughs> these guys want your gold, man. <laughs> They're going to charge you 100 gold for each conversion. This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> it's going to cost you 100 gold <laughs> for every... <laughs> Pearl Oyster Rare that you convert. So I have 20,000 basic pearls, right? So, <laughs> so it's going to cost me 200k <laughs> to convert them all to rare oysters. <laughs> oh man, this is ridiculous. Um, so they, they've done something to, you know, help us. They've already upped the conversion rate from 5 to 1 to 10 to 1. And they're also charging us for the privilege. So it's kind of a, you know, it's a middle finger, to be honest. Um, I'm not too happy about this at all. They should have just made it so that you can exchange your basics for your rares and just left it at that. Or just made it so that the esotericas could be leveled up with both basic and res so it would cost you 10 basics to move the needle one time i don't know why they are charging gold in order for you to get the privilege to exchange these basics into rare there is utterly no need for this um, the next thing they're also going to change is um, they're going to add a new benefit to War of Waters. Um, so the longer that you are inside a building, the stronger the benefit will become. I think this is to um, deter people who seem to be making these kind of, uh, how should I put it, 
collaborative matches where they don't actually go after the objectives as you know the game is supposed to be played they just you know form a uh a formation of all their uh, castles and just attack each other like it's uh, you know American football they just line up <laughs> just attack each other like that so it might be um, Storm Shop's attempt at trying to curb this sort of you know cheaters mindset when it comes to uh, WoW games in particular where um, you know players uh, teams are working together to create more beneficial outcomes as opposed to actually playing the game mode the way it is designed to be played. Next, they're raising the weekly feeding attempts for the dragons. I guess as a free to play player, I should be extremely happy about this as I'm going to be spending gold so that I can feed my dragon on more occasions, not, <laughs> but for you guys, you know, that um, are low spenders or, you know, big spenders, that might be beneficial to you to actually get your dragons up. And um, they haven't actually got a mention in this mail when Dark Ember is going to become freely available to um, everyone in the game. But I'm guessing that this particular part of the update has um, something to do with that as well. The uh, next thing that's also mentioned in this mail is about Curio Collections. So it adds the benefit preview button to the collection process page, allowing you to preview the total benefits at a certain collection level. You'll also see improvements on the animation upon entering the Curio Collection interface. So these are more, more aesthetic changes as opposed to changing anything about how the curios work. Now, in order to get the curios, you either have to use the celestial wheel and um, get the uh, chest with the uh, puzzle on it, you know, the purple chest, or you have to wait until the other wheel game. I'm not entirely sure what it's called, but it's the one that um, dishes out orange and pink tickets. All right. And also they've made some changes aesthetically to Leprechaun's Gifts and Villainous Research. Next, they've optimized the pop-up error notifications for failing to join rallies. So I guess they're going to be more accurate now as opposed to telling you from time to time that you can't enter the rally due to the fact that it is in another kingdom. And lastly, uh, moving on to bug fixes, they have fixed the early display of the community button on the top left corner on the mobile app. Okay. Fixes the occasional dysfunction of the quick join button used for joining rallies. Yep, I have that issue quite a lot. And usually it comes up with, you can't join the rally, it's in another kingdom. And normally what I have to do is I just have to press the green button on the rally I want to join and manually insert my team into that rally as for some reason the quick join button did not work. So hopefully that is going to fix that. Next fixes the issue where the screen cannot be scrolled when swiping the blank area on the event center panel. And lastly, fixes the issue where when you try to perform a super reinforcement for your allies on the battlefield, the incorrect quick join button will appear on your allies pop up window. What exactly is a super reinforcement? <laughs> I've never actually heard of a super reinforcement before. I know what an, <laughs> an <laughs> reinforcement is, but I've never actually heard of a super reinforcement. That'd be interesting. Much like you have mega rallies and mega garrisons, maybe you could do a super reinforcements and that will allow you to accommodate more reinforcements. Maybe this is a new change. Who knows? Or maybe they just put super in there by accident. Um, and down here at the bottom of the message, it says the above content is an update preview and does not represent the final update. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, yeah, they're just pretty much closing off the mail. But um, that is going to be the updates. As you can tell, this is going to be a, a very big update. Still no word on Dark Ember and when that's going to be coming to the game. 
there's one last thing I wanted to cover during this video. Um, it was made mention on one of the videos and on the Reddit that this mini game, Bubble Treasure Hunt, you will no longer be able to complete it due to the fact that the 16th task now requires you, if you are a free to play player, to top up 1000 gold. So if you're a free to play player, you will no longer be able to get your hands on these 10 chests and these are uh, 36 Play-Doh gears. So, uh, you know, get to hunting those special kingdom monsters. These chests will not be coming your way. So this is gonna be another curbing by Storm Shot to, uh, you know, take away something that we used to be able to get freely and um, we no longer will be able to do unless we uh, top up some gold. There seems to be a lot of a uh, push towards getting players to spend in more gold or in this instance, buying more gold. I don't know what the what is driving this push, but it seems to be that they're getting very aggressive with it and they're gonna be more aggressive in future. All right, so be on the lookout for that. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekends or have a great day, depending on when you get around to watching this video. Remember to like, comment and subscribe for more Stormshot content and I'll catch you on the next one.